Hello, Bard Haters, and welcome to another Five We Hate Bars Let's Play. I'm Ben, and this is a mole rat. And now it's a dead mole rat. And you're watching more Fallout 4 Survival Mode. Um, last time I found a set of power armor that I am still wearing. I also found a bed, so I managed to just drop a little save there. Just to kind of, like, make sure that anything that bad happens will still mean I have stuff for a quest. And I uh, should be good to go after that. But for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead to this settlement here. And we're not going to do the... Qu oh, wait, wait, wait. What is that? Something's... A thing's happening. I think Ten Pine Bluffs is just on the other side of that as well. Now, I could try and deal with all that and kill it because there's a bunch of mongrels down there. I seem to remember that from one of my test plays. And, um... Yeah, so I'm just, I'm not even going to bother trying to kill these guys. There's way too fucking many of them. I think there's like 12 down there. And we're going to completely skirt around them. Because I just, I, I mean, let's just, let's just be honest. There's a whole lot of note down there. I mean, something's attacking us, but I don't know fucking know what it is, and... Again, this game's kind of terrible for allowing you to actually see what's going to kill you before it kills you. So we're uh, we're going to go around and just hope that nothing tries to kill us. And Ten Pine Bluffs should be just up there. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Now, what are we looking at for this? Uh oh. Something saw us. Something in that house. Don't know what that would be. Oh, blowfly. Rad rush, rather. Oh, for fuck's sake. I was shooting you. Is this a bed I can sleep in? Yes, it is. So if I want to drop a save before I head back, I can totally do that. Alright, ooh, a merchant! Where is the, where is the merchant? Caravan guard, Lucas Miller. Okay, hello, Lucas Miller. Got the best armor in these parts. Sure. Okay. Let's take a look. My prices are firm. Ag uh -huh. Okay, so we can actually buy armor from this guy. And it looks like a little bit of... Yeah, n nothing aid. A little bit of ammo, so we might as well buy that. Just so we have it. And we're gonna sell... Yeah, we're gonna sell this 10 mil pistol just because it's worse. I can't see myself using mines much in this one, so I'm gonna totally sell that as well. Well-sighted heavy pipe pistol. I might actually use that. That appears to have decent damage compared to... Actually, ported pipe pistol. I don't know what that does. We'll sell it. The bolt action pipe pistol, sell that as well. Um, oh, the minigun. I already have one of these, so we're going to freaking sell the hell out of that. And apparently we somehow got 582 bits of 5 mil. So I can actually use the... Oh, was that just in the gun? Apparently. Well, we'll sell the gun itself, and I should still have... Yeah, I have a crap ton of 5 mil ammo now. All right. What else do you want? Well, get rid of the red bandana. We don't need it. Uh, well, the red red leg. We get rid of that. That's the one I've been using. So we'll have to compare. Short pipe rifle. Yep. Short laser musket. Double barrel shotgun. We'll sell the extra one of those. And then, or which one's better here? Better fire rate, lower damage. Better damage, better range, lower fire rate. Fire rate isn't terribly. I was say, so. So, that. So, what does it that have over this thing? What is a heavy pipe? Other than just damage. Yeah, I think I'm going to sell that as well. Get a little bit extra stuff. Um, so, the blood pack, because Brown and I were going to use it. Um, <laughs> anything here I don't actually need. 
Vodka, yeah, definitely selling that. Oh, that one sold for two. That wasn't great at all. Um, overdue book. Doesn't actually say anything to do with it, so... I mean, it's, it's in the miscellaneous category, so maybe I'll use it. Ah, the cigarette cartons. So we got exactly 239 out of that. We have a bit of crystal. Apparently we use that for something. Yeah, the rest of this is stuff I'm planning to take back with me. We could sell the mods, I think. Let's see what we can buy from him first. I don't think we can buy any weapons. We just sold him a bunch. Uh, so we can buy some army fatigues, which don't give me any damage control, but plus one strength, plus one agility could be useful. Um, same with the baseball uniform. Boiled leather chest piece, boiled leather right leg. Interesting. Champion left arm. That looks really expensive too. Yep, 777. Ugh. But uh, 15 damage resist, plus one strength, plus one endurance. So it'd be really useful if we ever got a whole set of those. Man disarm guard, man. Oh, man. These things are really good, and I can't afford any of them. Reduces damage from super mutants by 15%. Military cat for plus one perception. Uh, herbal anodyne. Steel, leather, fiberglass, cloth. I don't need any of those, I don't think. So I say, do I really need any? I, I might pick up the army fatigues, but... Actually, no, I'm just going to take his caps. Yeah, I'm just going to take all your caps and leave you with nothing. So now you have a ton of weapons to sell, though. So that'll at least give you something. <clears throat> anyway, let's go ahead and pick up the quest from these guys. Because these guys are going to want me to go and clear out a bunch of raid or something. Hello? Excuse me. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Okay. Take it easy. You're with the mid. We sent work. Most people... We're rebuilding yeah, the we're building uh, everything. We know where they're coming. I'm just gonna skip all this stuff. Yeah, kill the raiders in the Corvega assembly plant. Don't worry. Thanks. So that's something I'll have to do at some point down the line, because uh, then we can unlock this settlement. Also, I think I'm actually gonna have to, if, if memory serves, I think we have to. Um, I think I'm gonna have to get my charisma up to s to six. I'm not going to steal their potatoes. We already have plenty of those back at home. Uh, what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to... I shouldn't be over encumbered anymore, either, because I sold a crap ton of my stuff. Nope, I'm still over encumbered. How badly am I over encumbered? Um, 103 over 85. The la I mean, the laser musket is heavy as hell, so I think I'm going to actually... Oh, I can't actually store stuff in there. That sucks. Well, here's what I'm going to do then, because I think that was screwing me over last time. Get rid of the sh if I drop the short laser musket... Ooh, I'm still over. Um, what do I have that's actually causing... Two desk fans might be doing it, so let's drop them here and we can pick them up after I'm done sleeping. Yep, we'll give it a good honest four hours. Still tired, that's fine though. Managed to restore most of my bro my uh, down hit points, so that's at least good. As for getting back to, because I'm, I am just going to go straight back to the, uh, to where I started, to um, sanctuary is what it's called. That's it. That's the thing. Um, and actually, we're going to go to Blake Abernathy. We're going to go to the Abernathy farm first, because that should take us on a path that avoids the dogs. At least I hope so. 
You know, I find it weird that they're complaining about the raiders who are coming, by the way, who are coming, in fact, all the way from down here, which is quite a long ways off to raid a settlement. But they're coming all the way up the road to raid the settlement, and then the villagers complain about that, and yet there's a crap ton of dogs, like, right outside their, their, their town that they don't even seem to notice. Like, right there. Probably be a bit more careful because I didn't actually come this far out last time. There might be some hidden bloat flies or something I didn't see. So like, the amount of enemies in this game compared to like New Vegas is just un like unbelievable. Cause, like New Vegas, yeah, you, you would occasionally get attacked by like raiders or like you'd see um, you know geckos would come out at you or whatever. But generally, like for the most part, if you like stuck to the main roads, like you you'd hardly see any of them. Something's attacking me. I'm just gonna keep moving. Thicket excavation. That sounds like a place I probably don't want to go, actually. So we're going to ignore it. And pretty soon I should be coming back to that lake, which my plan for that point is just get in the lake and swim. What the heck is this? Okay, so the lake was up there. So this took me and actually... How do I want to go around it? That way seems like a bad way to go, because they might actually notice me. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go up top, up here. Because I feel like if I go all the way up here and around, they won't actually see me. There might not even be anything down there. It's probably just like completely deserted and empty and has really good stuff there and people are screaming like, Oh, Ben, you're an idiot. You need to go down there and grab the thing. And what the heck? Okay, so probably shouldn't do whatever it was I was just doing. For some reason, this doesn't appear to be solid. No, this stuff isn't solid. I can walk right through it. It's decorative, so... Am I not supposed to be going the way I am? Am I like screwing up the game by doing this? Yeah, great one, Bethesda. Way to, way to properly settle this up. So it looks like they just, because I can even see it up here. Looks like they didn't actually bother to build like concrete structure here. They just made use like the the existing terrain and then skinned over it, and hoped nobody would notice. I'm really hoping that's not actually what happened, and this is some weird bug that like they didn't just didn't know existed. But honestly, if if they actually did what I think they did, then I don't know. It's just it's not this game is not earning high marks with me to this point. And it's really kind of a shame because, like I said, I I I mentioned before, I really enjoy uh, Fallout New Vegas in spite of all the bugs. Um, largely just because of the freedom to just... I, I don't necessarily want to say the freedom to play the game your way, because that's definitely been abused um, in, in a lot of more recent games. Uh, I'm trying to think of some good examples. Like, get, Dishonored would be a good example of that, like where you can just go in and kill everybody, or, or rush through everything and get straight to the end, and then not have to worry about it. There, there, there are definitely games that have like the play it your way style, that just, it's... It's kind of a like I, I'm I'm trying to like phrase phrase my sentence while at the same time looking around for enemies and it's not going well for me. But but like I, when I talk about New Vegas and like play it your own way, it's like there's there's options. Like you can talk your way out, you can fight your way out, you can sneak your way out, you can get other people to do it for you. There, there's generally like four or five different ways to solve any given situation. Not always. There are a couple times where there's like only really one way to do it, but that those are fairly rare situations and generally they're not even main story situations either so 
I, I, I don't know, just the, like, the general way New Vegas is structured outside of that, um, I like a lot better than what I'm seeing so far in this game. Which appears to be more like a runny-gunny, open-worldy, shooty thing than anything else. Like, I haven't really found so much in terms of, like, story, other than, so I guess this building settlements is some kind of story. Like, they're giving you a basic bit of lore, that, like, you told you, like, yeah, your son's kind of missing, and they said, now go help out a bunch of people in need. I know basically where I am, and if memory serves, I cleared this area out last time. There shouldn't really be anything bad here. Then once we get done helping out this settlement, they should be one of our... They should become allied to us. At that point, I'm probably just going to... Um, Okay, we're inside of the farm, so if anything bad comes at us now, I will have backup. Where is... Oh, he's sleeping. I've got that locket back for you. you and immediately he springs to life. Great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. I'm sure she'll go lean on her prices after what he's done. And feel free to use our workshop. Yes, so quite a lot of experience and uh, a brand new level, and 98 caps, and a discount from the merchant here, and I think it also counts as an allied settlement now. Yeah, because we can use the workshop here, so I'll probably do that, uh, I'll probably off screen that bit of me coming here and just doing a bit of workshop stuff. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and learn my next perk. Yeah, this is, I think, the one we want. So I may almost just... As much as I don't want to do it, I may have to at some point. Because I don't... I I burned the year special book on something else, and it just didn't end up working out for me. I'm trying to remember all this stuff. Ah, here we go. Sneak attack. This could be really, really useful. Um, bonus to sneak attack. I didn't realize I had seven agility already. Uh, t -t -t um, I mean, I could pick advanced locks as well. That might be, that might actually be more, or this life giver for twenty maximum health. A lot of good perks early on that I kind of want to take. I think I'm just gonna get life giver because that's gonna be used more and more useful the more I go through. In the next level, I can get another twenty to maximum health, and slowly regenerate lost health is at the maximum level, so I might jump straight to that as soon as I can. As for my settlement. So what is my current HP now that I've done that? 155. So that's not bad. I mean it is relative to like previous Fallout games. Like pre previous Fallout games at the time I hit like level 7, level 8 I'd have like 350 hit points. But uh, I, I know it's not even a survival mode thing, because for a while I thought it might have been, but then I looked at what you get even in outside of survival mode, and uh, no, you still only get about 120 to start with. You don't get much HP in this game.
And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to move our thing right here. Oh, right. And now we've got to store some stuff because I'm over encumbered. That's not great. So let's go ahead and transfer. Transfer all my junk here first. There we go. Okay. So, anything else I can go in there? This is this is actually. Uh, I was to say I like I thought this weighed like a pound. I'm like I can get rid of a pound. Probably still will anyway because it seems to it weighs st something, which is more than nothing. To be really obvious about it, something weighs more than nothing. As for the rest, oh, this stuff's all really heavy. It also might just be the the freaking. Yeah, I think that's what this is. I think all the ammo I'm carrying is really kind of what's doing it. So I might, I think I have a, a chest in my house. I might, and if not, I'll probably like make one. First things first, let's go ahead and see if we can upgrade some things or mod some things. The pipe pistol, this is what I wanted. Standard receiver, and now I can get myself a hardened receiver. With some of that adhesive, so do a little bit more damage with this. Long barrel, that's all I can do with my current. Comfort grip, I mean I can make it a rifle, but I don't really want to. Comfort grip works for the current purposes. Sharpshooter's grip might be nice. What does it do anyway besides just giving you plus one accuracy? Ah, ow, actually for plus one accuracy, that's not really worth it. Better and be slightly better recoil. <clears throat> yeah, this looks. This is probably what I'm gonna leave it at. Standard mag. I could go with a large mag. Or if I had gun on, I could give it a drum magazine. I think this is what I'm ideally gonna want. That kind of makes it seem that that might weigh. Um, I don't really need extra rounds right now. The glow sight. Can't really get anything else right yet. So yeah, I think that's as good as my pipe pistol is going to get for the moment. Let's see if I can do anything else. Standard receiver. Heavy frame receiver. I feel like I'm going to want hardened receiver on basically everything. I just get give such a bonus of damage. Um, long, ooh, I can give myself a slightly long barrel. Increase the range. Um, yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna get there. Sights. I could get spike knuckles, I'm not planning on punching anything. Yeah, I think I just need more weapons as standard, really. Like, I'd like a rifle, really. And I don't know where exactly I'm supposed to go to get one of those. So in the meantime, I'm just going to take care of some of my basic needs. I'm also going to see about putting a, uh, excuse me, one second, I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> oh. Wow, okay. Also, I can't actually sleep in my bed because Marcy Long is sleeping in my bed. Um, I'm going to make like a chest or something here. Structure, decoration, power defense. Crafting, raider, da 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 Containers, there we go. Cabinet, cooler, desk, dresser, metal box. I kind of like metal box. I have plenty of steel, so let's go ahead and put the metal box right there. 
And we're gonna go, go ahead and transfer all this up there. I don't actually need right now. So the five millimeter rounds, they are all going in there. That should give me a fair amount. And the mini nuke, that I, I forgot the mini nuke might be really, really heavy. Um, I don't have 45 rounds in the minute, but I may do at some point. Let's go ahead and store all the mods, because I don't really need them right now. That weighs nothing. This stuff weighs nothing. Uh, da, 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 anything else here that I have that I don't necessarily need? I might just leave the laser musket here, because when, when the fuck am I going to use that? You know, it weighs excessively. Um, Nuka Cola Quantum. 400 HP, 100 AP. I'm going to save that. I probably will end up using it at some point, but I'm not going to take it with me. I have one purified water, one dirty water. Ooh, I need more of that at some point. Okay. With that stuff stored, I'm going to go ahead and uh, top up all my meters. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to bed. Oh, let's go for a full eight hours, actually. Eh, six hours. That'll put us at 943. That should be enough to... <clears throat> that should be enough to get rid of at least most of the sleeve, if not all of it. Yep. And now I'm thirsty, which is fine. I can just go ahead and do this. <coughs> Make sure it gets all the way down to as far down as I can get it. To like zero. And the potatoes I planted are not coming in. I mean, not all of them, but most of them have. Oh, I get it, because we, we don't have enough people to man those, because Marcy Long is manning all the food, and so... I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. So, let's go ahead. Go over to my aid, and... Eat some potatoes. And I'm getting a ton of rats from that, so... Seems to be growing well. There it goes. And I should have enough potatoes to actually... Hmm. Wait, what? Do I have a thing? I see something down by my little... Yes, R bumper show effect. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, they're restoring HP over time. Okay. Retire frequent sleep and... Oh, I get it. I know what's going on. That's right. I just remember because I got... I got... Um, an illness last time. But I have antibiotics, so... <clears throat> which, that, which, using the thing made me thirsty, so that's, that's awesome. I love that. Uh, so let's go drink some more. So we should be good. Um, so yeah, we're at about a half hour again, so I'm going to call it here. And next time I'm not actually going to go and do with the Corvega plant. What I'm going to do... Um, first step, yep. Yeah, that is not the first step. This was the first first step right here. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and go to do Jewel of the Commonwealth. We're going to do our the first bit of the story. Uh, largely because I just want to get to Diamond City, just so I have some place to sell to. And see if I can't get any other settlement set up around there. Because uh, I'm going to need, I, I think I am going to need 6 Charisma and need need the ability to set up supply lines. That seems like it's going to be a thing at some point. But as it stands, what I can do is I can head down to Diamond City. And it looks like along the way we got a couple things. Got the Gravega assembly plant, we got whatever the hell this is. I was saying, once we're done with Corvée Assembly Plant, we can just jump in the water and freaking swim on down, and nobody should be able to do anything. And then just straight on to Diamond City. So, yeah, it looks like we got a decent shot at getting there. And we will go ahead and do that 
uh, next time. But in the meantime, thanks as always for watching, guys. I was Ben, and this was Fallout in Vegas Survival Mode. Nope, Fallout 4 Survival Mode. I'm sorry. See you next time, everyone.